What is going on guys? It is me, your boy John with Grand Exploration and welcome to another episode of The Build. Now today, we're gonna jump right into it. This is about three off-road slash overland modifications that I, I simply regret. Things I wish I didn't buy or bought a different version of. Whether it be because, you know, I know more now than I knew then when I was getting into this sport of off-roading and beating up my Jeep, to some things that just don't work, I guess, the way they're supposed to work. So, the objective of this video today is to hopefully help you save time and money on your build. That's the goal. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it, take a look at the Granite Grand, all right? Oh, and if you haven't hit subscribe, smack the subscribe button. Cool, thanks. All right, let's do it. Whew, had to take the sweater off, it was getting a little too hot. But before we dive into this, just so I can save face and I don't get embarrassed and people don't rag on me, if anything or any of these components I speak of that I'm having a problem with, um, and you know the reason I'm having a problem with them is because I'm not using them correctly, well then feel free to let me know. I always encourage uh, constructive criticism. That's how we help each other out, right? So, all right, let's dive into this. All right, so the first thing on the list of mods I've done to the Granite Grand that I regret is, now, before I say this, I'm not trying to bash any companies here. Um, this is strictly off the experience that I have with these products. Now, if someone else has had a great experience with them, cool, let me know, I'd love to know. But for me, these just haven't worked for me. And this one is the Rocky Road Upper Control Arms. If you can see them in there, it's a little hard to see. Let's dive in. I say dive in a lot. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> now, these Rocky Road Upper Control Arms have been nothing but trouble for me. Um, the first set, I'm on my second set. The first set I got, the ball joint boots were just squished after installation. Now I thought I did something wrong. So I called the company, I said, hey, look, my, my, the Moog ball joint boots are squished. I don't know why, um, doesn't look like the picture. Like, wh what's up, did I do something wrong? They literally told me, don't worry about it. They said, as long as it's holding grease, don't worry about how it looks. I'm like, well, I want it to look the way it's supposed to, and it doesn't seem like I can sustain long-term with these boots flattened out like this. And sure enough, after two weeks, they split, spewing grease everywhere on everything. So I got another set of ball joints. And this time, the passenger side, perfect. No problems there, the boot looks great. Driver side, still squished. Not as bad as last time, but it's squished. And now the boot is starting to crack around the edges. Uh, and not only that, the bushings on the actual arms themselves that connect to the Jeep, the inside bushings are completely disintegrated. They're gone. I don't know what happened to them. And that's less than two months after running these UCAs. Now, I beat the Jeep up, but not that bad. Like this, these are supposed to hold up. So like I said, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but these just don't seem to be working for me. I'm exploring some other options, um, you know, maybe JBA or something like that. If you guys know a company uh, that makes upper control arms for the WK2 and you absolutely love them and they've had, you've had no issues, please let me know. But I've had nothing but issues with these. They're always just a thorn in my side. So I'd have to say this is something I'm starting to regret. Okay, now number two on the list of modifications for the Granite Grand that I regret. Well, this one, I don't really regret it. This is more of something that I didn't know then and I do know now, and that is the type of lighting you use for off-road use. I went with the Rough Country Dark Series for the 30-inch light bar up top and the two-inch pods. They look sick, they look great on the Granite Grand. I love how it's dark inside and you can see the little yellow eyes in there. It just looks cool and they send white light just great turns the night into daytime but now after off-roading for a while doing dark you know nighttime trail rides getting through dust and snow that white light just pff, blinds you you can't see anything and it's useless and frankly i don't really know what you use white light for off-roading anyway i don't know i'm a little ignorant to it if you know 
put it in the comments. I'd love to learn more. But I'm starting to see the necessity for mostly amber lighting. Last week, I spent some time with Diode Dynamics at the Northwest Overland Rally. Got to take a look at some of their products, and they're insane. They're so sick. Um, I fell in love with the SS3 Max uh, pods, and I think that's what I might go with. Now, don't get me wrong. These Rough Country lights have been awesome. They do what they're supposed to do. Um, they've made it through getting beat up and going through all the different weather, you know, they, they haven't got any water in them. They haven't got condensation on the inside, nothing. Um, except, you know, the lenses are a little scratched up now because I never use my covers. But they've been great. So there's no knock on Rough Country as far as their lighting. But I'm just realizing that I picked the wrong type of lighting and I need, might need to go with amber. And I think I will go amber all the way around for ditch and light bars. So that is something I've started to regret. Okay, and the last, the third, the final thing for off-road modifications that I've done to the Granite Grand that I regret, these guys. These are the off-road animal rock rails. These are the slim ones, probably they're cheaper ones. And at the time, before I knew what I was getting into, I thought these looked the best. They're flush, they fit perfectly, they look good on the Granite Grand, um, and I still love the way they look but they don't offer the protection necessary for grueling off-road trails. Um, now don't get me wrong, they've, they've helped me when I've come down on rocks before, but I need something that comes out past the door and angles up slightly to protect everything above this door frame. Um, off-road Animal, I went on their website and I saw that they make another style, one that actually does what I need it to do, and it comes in two, part, two pieces. One piece being this one I already have, the one I've already purchased, and then there's a second piece that attaches to this. I called them up. I was like, hey, look, I already bought the, for that piece. Can I, have the can I buy the second piece to put on there? And of course, they said, no, you need to buy the whole thing. So I thought that was kind of, kind of stupid. Um, so I think I'll be looking for another option of rock rails. I need a true rock rail. Whether it be with Six Monkeys, Chief Products, or another brand that you guys may know, I'm all ears, I'd love to hear it. But yeah, these guys just won't work for what I do. Now, if I do get some new ones, I might make these a giveaway for someone that these may suit. And if you don't do you know, crazy trails where you're beating up the sides of your Jeep, these may be right for you. There's nothing, I'm speaking no, nothing wrong with Off-Road Animal. Um, I love these rock rails, they just don't do what I need them to do. And for someone that doesn't do what I do, these may be perfect for you. So, I think that's about it. Those are the three things, the three off-road modifications that I did to the Granite Grand that I regret. Um, when I started this build, it was a budget build. I also didn't know too much about off-roading. I had to kind of get in there, get in the thick of it, get stuck and see what I need. I think my biggest fault was trying to hurry up and buy all the things that I thought looked cool. Um, and some of them just didn't turn out to be a necessity or enough for what I'm doing. So hopefully this video has helped someone that is starting a build and they can save time and money by watching me and learning from my mistakes. That is the whole goal there. So I know this video was a little quicker. Um, forgive me for that if that let you down. Things have been crazy busy, still dealing with my dad's health issues. He's in and out of the hospital. Thank you guys for your prayers regarding my dad. I really appreciate it. Um, we're still holding faith that he's gonna be healed, but things have just been a little harder. Um, but we're getting through it, and I am not quitting on this channel. I'm not quitting on you guys. Also, I wanna make you guys aware that we are going to be doing a little experimenting on YouTube, so be prepared for the schedule to change. Right now, we've been releasing videos on Fridays. We're gonna try out Mondays. Um, so just be prepared for that. I'm trying to obtain enough content to post one more Friday and then the, the exit, that's Monday right after so that I can close the gap and you guys won't miss a week. Um, so I'm trying to get that done for you. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed, smack the subscribe button. Your guys' support has helped me so much I love it, this channel is growing, and it just feels so awesome to have a group of people that love the content and love to watch it, it makes me feel so good. 
And if there's something that you guys want me to do more of or less of, or if there's something I haven't done yet that you would like to see and it fits within my realm, please let me know. I want to please you guys. Um, that is the main objective. So hope you like this video and like always, I love you. Peace.